Hey, what's up guys? Hard Leg Joe here with the Deck Profile for the Ancient Gear Burn Stall Beat. I'm just going to go through everything in here, and I'll explain how it works. So we're playing two Toon Ancient Gear Golem, three Ancient Gear Golem, three Ancient Gear Gajillatron Dragon, three Ancient Gear Wyvern, two Ancient Gear Box, two Gear Geauger, three Ancient Gear Hunting Hounds, and two Ancient Gear Cannon. For our spells, we're playing three Overload Fusion, three Trade-In, three Toon Table of Contents, two Book of Eclipse, two... Twin Twisters, and two Ancient Gear Fortress. For traps, we're playing three Quaking Mirror Force, and two Floodgate Trap Holes. The extra deck is two Chaos Ancient Gear Giant, one Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem, three Ancient Gear Howitzer, one Utopia the Lightning, one Dark Rebellion, one Regular Utopia, one Gear Gigant X, one Silent Honor Arc, one Heartland Draco, one Castell, one Gagaga Cowboy, and one Gachi Gachi Gen Tensu. The side deck I'll go over in a moment. So this is a multifaceted deck, as the name implies. It's Burn, Stall, Beat, and we do that in that order. We're going to be burning with Ancient Gear Howitzer. This is a fusion monster. It's any two Ancient Gear monsters to make it, and it's unaffected by all other card effects. So the only way you can defeat this is by battle. It only has 1,800 defense, so a lot of things can get over it. Fortunately, that's where the stall portion comes in. We're playing things like Quaking Mirror Force, Floodgate Trap Hole, and Book of Eclipse. These are going to flip your opponent's monsters face down and prevent them from attacking. So every turn you can inflict a thousand damage. They're not going to be able to ride Geki this. They can't Castell it. Now, of course, you can't stall forever, no matter how much you, you may try, especially with a monster on board. That's why we get to the beat portion. This is Chaos Ancient Gear Giant. It's any four Ancient Gear monsters. Uh, it's unaffected by spell traps. Monsters in your opponent's possession cannot activate their effects during the battle phase. And this card can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each, and it does piercing damage. So this thing can win games on its own. If they have one or two monsters, because you're doing piercing, because it can attack everything and it's got 45, it's just doing massive amounts of damage to your opponent. Unfortunately, it doesn't really have any protection on your opponent's turn. I mean, it's unaffected by spell traps, but they can castell it, they can 101. Basically, any monster effect can get rid of this thing. So it's best to make when you've already dealt some damage. That's where the whole burn, stall, beat sort of comes into things. You want to get them down by enough, a couple thousand, just enough, and stall just enough that you can get the four ancient gears you need to make this, and then attack into your opponent. And because we're flipping everything face down, hopefully they'll have at least two monsters on the field, and you can do massive piercing damage to them to win the game. We're also playing this ultimate ancient gear golem. This is kind of similar. It's got 4,400 attack, so not quite as much. And it does piercing damage. Your opponent can't activate spell traps. The only reason we're playing this is because it's materials, one ancient gear golem, and two ancient gear monsters. So you could potentially make this with just three monsters instead of the four, and it does enough piercing damage that if you've already burned for enough, it could still win. It's just good to have here in case shit happens. So in order to summon all these, we're mainly using Ancient Gear Hunting Hound. This is one of the newer Ancient Gear cards. When it's normal summoned, inflict 600 damage to your opponent, just a little extra burn. Uh, if this card attacks, your opponent can't activate Spell Traps, which is not really used. And once per turn, you can Fusion Summon an Ancient Gear monster using monsters in your hand or field as material. So if you summon out this and you have any Ancient Gears in your hand, you've got Howitzer. If you've got this and three other cards in your hand, then you can get Ancient Gear Giant or Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem. The other way we're fusing summoning is Fusion Overload. You can banish from your side of the field or your graveyard Fusion Materials for a Dark Machine type monster, which Chaos Giant is a Dark Machine type monster. So normally what you're going to be doing is making this, stalling, and then trying to get Overload Fusion because usually... After a few turns, you have this. You'll have enough Ancient Gears in your graveyard to be able to summon out a Chaos Giant and attack for massive damage. I also didn't mention it before. Ancient Gear Howitzer, if this is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can summon one Ancient Gear from your deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. So that helps with the stall a little bit more. Not only can you get out big attack point monsters like Ancient Gear Golem or the Toon version that have 3,000 both ways, but you can get uh, Ancient Gear Wyvern. This is your searcher. If it's normal or special summoned, you can add one Ancient Gear from your deck to your hand. Oftentimes, if, if this gets destroyed, I'll summon out a Wyvern. Wyvern will search you another Hunting Hound. And then as long as you have any other Ancient Gear in your hand, you can just make another Howitzer next turn. Of course, if you already have your Ancient Gear Hunting Hound, that's why we're playing the Ancient Gear Box. We're only playing two of them because you don't want it in your hand. Normally, it's just to search out. When this card is searched or added from the graveyard to the hand, you can add one Earth Machine-type monster with 500 attack and or defense from your deck to your hand, except for a copy of itself. So you can use Wyvern to get Gearbox, and then Gearbox will search one of your other two monsters we have in here, Gear Gear Auger. Uh, when this is normal summoned, avid level 4 Earth Machine-type monster. So this will let you get 
wyvern. It just forms a chain. Or ancient gear cannon. This is just a little little burn tech that I like to play. You can tribute it to inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Probably not the best choice. I just like this for that little extra burn damage. I've had times when I get down to just 500 attack, and being able to summon this and just tribute it, especially if you're already stalling with howitzer, it puts ancient gears in the graveyard, it acts as an ancient gear in your hand, and you can just search to deck thin even more. Speaking of deck thinning, that's why we're playing the Toon Table of Contents and, and the Toon Ancient Gear Golem. You can use one contents to search out the other two, and then the third copy to search out Ancient Gear Golem, so you can remove four cards from your deck with one. And of course, Ancient Gear Golem is a prime candidate for trade-in, as is the regular Ancient Gear Golem and the Gajillatron Dragon. We're playing so many apes, just so you can use them, Plus, even if they're in your hand, you can use them for Hunting Hound, or you can discard them for something like Twin Twisters. And besides just being useful in your grave for Overload Fusion, you've also got Ancient Gear Fortress. Neat little card, you can search it with uh, Wyvern. This is Ancient Gear Monsters you control cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. During the turn, they're normal or special summoned. Uh, also, your opponent cannot activate effects in response to an Ancient Gear card or effect. So if you play this first, you're, you're able to fusion summon without worrying about being solemn striked or, or having them use uh, Vanity's Emptiness on you or something. Uh, it also has the effect that if it's destroyed, you can summon one Ancient Gear from your hand or graveyard. So you could set this along with your other traps. Uh, usually they'll get paranoid after they see one Quaking Mirror Force, and if they destroy this, then you could summon your Gajillatron Dragon or your Wyvern or even your Howitzer. This has no restrictions on it being special summoned. And that pretty much covers the main deck. I mean, we got the Ancient Gear Golems and the Gajillatron Dragons. They're mostly just beat sticks, although Ancient Gear Golem does have piercing damage. So this could be a pretty good just for attacking over. Same thing with Ancient Gear Golem, the Toon version, although this can't attack the turn it's summoned. But normally you're summoning it during your opponent's turn with Devil anyway, so it doesn't really matter. The rest of the extra deck is mostly just rank 4s because we have a lot of rank 4 monsters. Oftentimes if you're stalling, if they've got a bunch of monsters face down, you can get a wyvern and a gearbox on, on the field, or a gear geauger and make some of these. Uh, you can really play whatever you want. I like to have Utopia the Lightning for getting over those things that have more than 4,500. I like Gear Gigan X because it can search any of your machines, including the Hunting Hounds. And uh, Heartland Draco is pretty good for doing that extra burn damage, and they can't attack it if you've got Ancient Gear Fortress on the field. So, pretty nice. But you can really fill this in with whatever you want. As for the side deck, I'm playing the extra copy of Book of Eclipse, Twin Twister, Floodgate Trap Hole. Uh, really, the only reason I'm playing two of each of these is because I wasn't sure what would be best. There's some decks where Twin Twister is useless, some where you really need it. Uh, I just played everything at two and hoped I could draw into it. If you're playing this and you know kind of what you're going against, then you may want to side in, like, if the format's more heavy towards spell traps, put in a Twin Twister. If not, get rid of them, put in more Floodgate Trap Holes. Also, Stumbling's pretty decent card in here. Any monster that's normal or flip summoned is changed to defense position. So it'll stall you just for another turn. Your opponent's monsters won't be able to attack the same turn they're summoned. And plus, what's really good with this is because Ancient Gear Giant's unaffected by spell traps, you can still summon this out while Stumbling's on the field and attack. You won't have to worry about being shifted to defense mode. Everything else in here is just sort of other options. Giant Rat can be decent in certain conditions because it'll allow you to get your Hunting Hounds out and then you can fuse in main phase two. Um, Summoner Monk could be pretty good for getting Ancient Gear Wyvern out. So then you can search and go into a rank 4. Of course, then you've got to discard some of your spell cards, and normally we're not wanting to do that. Uh, another Gear Gear Augur. Pretty good search power, just a little bit weak because you have to normal summon it and it's only got 500 attack. And finally, Machine Duplication. This was actually in here for a while. Uh, we play a lot of monsters with less than 500 attack, and this really stops them from being dead cards. Uh, my original burn variant of this, you would use it on Ancient Gear Cannon. And then you can tribute all three to do 1,500 damage to your opponent. You could use it on Gearbox and get out three level four monsters and make things like uh, Ouroboros or number 104, those monsters that require three level four monsters. Um, so just a neat little tech card. If you wanted to do something a little bit more crazy, Gear Geauger is a good target for it as well. And uh, finally, Limiter Removal, because I know people will bring it up. Again, it's, if you get Limiter Removal in a machine deck, you just win. It, it usually doesn't matter what your opponent's playing. I didn't want to have a bunch of duels where it's like, oh, I won because I happened to draw a limit removal. But if you're playing this competitively, even if not, even if you're just playing it casually and you just want to win more, you're not concerned with showing off the deck like I am, then you'll want to put limit removal in there. So there you go. It's an interesting ancient gear deck, probably a jack of all trades and master of none. The, the ancient gears are interesting. You could make a really good burn deck with them. You could make a really good beatdown deck. Maybe not so much a stall deck. 
But I tried to combine a little bit of both so it didn't just do one and only one thing, because that, that, that's gotten me in trouble in, in the past. And it, it works okay. You could probably perfect it a little bit. But regardless, ne next week I'm going to be playing something different. I'll be out of fusions looking at a Patreon request for Drag Unities, which I've never played before. Should be interesting. Until then, good luck, have fun. Mm -hmm.